Hey, music junkies, professor of rock, always here to celebrate the greatest artists and the greatest songs of all time. Today, we're presenting another sneak preview of our premium content. That's gonna be available very soon. You can sign up to be notified by clicking on the link below. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification button because every day we have something special for you. So today we have a short feature with guitar legend and virtuoso. Steve Vai. Steve tells a story about working on Yankee Rose, riding with electric frontman David Lee Roth. With Steve Vai, it's always insightful. Here it is. You went from Alcatraz, which is an incredible band in and of itself, to David Lee Roth, and even Smile with Billy Sheehan, and that singing guitar work that you did on that first record, Shy Boy and Elephant Gun. But I want to jump into Yankee Rose. A tribute to the Statue of Liberty was 100 years back in 86, mm -hmm. 100th year anniversary, but I love the interplay at the beginning. Tell me how that came about, how you and, and David are talking. You're t speaking with your guitar. Yeah. Well, it was something I, I, I did. It's one of those quirky things about my technique. You know, Dave and I really kind of hit it off that way. I mean, when you strip away everything, there's something in us that has a similar kind of bend, a bizarre sense of humor, so to speak. So he was, I mean, can you imagine a lot of, a lot of rock stars at the time would never go for something like that. Uh huh. You know, talking guitar, talking with the guitar. It's just, it's not appropriate for, you know, <laughs> but, but Dave was just like, yeah, man, this is crazy. Let's do it. So uh, I think it was just an idea that you know, I, that evolved from a conversation. And yeah. Ted Templeman had a lot to do with that song. He was a great producer for that record. I always love to read the stories of when you would jog with Dave, you'd talk about that and he'd have security. Oh yeah, well that was, you know, that Dave was, I would mention Bill Westcott and Joe yeah. Satriani as mentors and Frank Zappa. And Dave was probably my fourth and final mentor that really provided me with tools mm -hmm. that you just can't get anyplace else. And one of the things, because of his, he's, he's an intense guy, he was very serious and intense about his, his working out and being in shape. And he, that he taught me that. If, if it's, that's one of the things that I got from my relationship with Dave that was vital, was you're going to go on tour for this amount of time and you're going to go on that stage and you have to deliver you know, to a large group of people every night. You, got, you can't mess around. You've got to be bulletproof. And... Uh, that was great. So we, we were always going to the gym or working out or climbing or running, you know, and it was great. It was really great. With Yankee Rose, it was such a big song. Yeah. I remember just hearing it as a kid and being blown away. And I love how it's kind of reintroduced to a new generation through a video game, Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that's how, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how my younger brothers found it. Oh, younger, yeah. Younger brothers, because... It was on a radio station on that game, but oh. that, that's a great thing about, you know, yeah, those kinds of things. That it the dots get connected in the oddest ways sometimes. They do. <laughs> I love the guitar solo. Tell me about writing that song. Well, it was a, a, a track that I had, you know, I, I would demo songs, you know, mm -hmm. and I'd bring them to Dave or the band, or sometimes someone in the band would come in with a song. Billy brought mm -hmm. in Shy Boy on Skyscraper, you know, Brett and Greg brought in tracks and stuff. And then there'd be some uh, cover songs occasionally. Dave liked cover songs, which was, you know, some of them were really great. Tobacco Road. And, oh, yeah. You know, when I was playing Yankee Rose for, for them, uh, Ted Templeman made the, the money punch suggestion, you know, and it was, it's simple. You know, what I was doing on the verses was like a riff. It wasn't quite working. And, he, and Ted said, why don't you just... Yeah. And I thought at first I thought, oh, that's a little too simple then. Yeah, that's me, you know, <laughs> and I did it. And uh, so that's why that whole, you know, yeah, 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 dun, 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 you know, and, uh, you know, the little talking bits in there and stuff. It was it was a great effort f with everybody. It all kind of came together with everybody's contribution. And the, the sound of Billy's bass in that track is just it. It carries so much of the attitude of this song, you know? Thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment on Yankee Rose, David Lee Roth, and of course, the great Steve Vai. I had the honor of sitting down with Steve for quite a while discussing his entire discography. To see that interview, sign up for premium below. Celebrate Steve Vai by clicking on his merch link and the album links that are below in the description. Celebrate one of the greats. 
If you like our content, subscribe below and also support us on Patreon. That really helps us create more videos, do more interviews. It's all about keeping the greatest music alive. Until next time, three chords and the truth, my friends.